part two of that observation point at Watchman Point and Crater Lake Rim. I am now walking up the last 30 feet worth of trail to get to this old fashioned log cabin style gazebo. User friendly, like a picnic table at a park or something, but it's really, it looks like a castle. You come into it like this here, see? Dur, dur, dur. Got these limestone stone steps. You got a wood deck coming out and around with windows. All right. On the right side of it, you have Crater Lake, ladies and gentlemen. And God, am I glad I came up here. This is a first for me, too. What a great view. So on the right side of this observation point, you got Crater Lake itself. Okay. Just on the other side of the building I'm in is where the fire is. About to come into the park itself, into the crater, if it comes up and over the edge. I guess it's possible. I guess it's very possible. There's that green pool, if you can see. Down there, I don't know. Getting hard to breathe. Me and the dogs are coming up. And, uh... I'm gonna come in and... You can pause this at home, YouTube, and read it for yourself while I catch my breath. Go ahead and pause this if you were interested in the statistics and some interesting historical facts about Crater Lake in the area. Go ahead, give those a peruse, and then and then you look over the billboard, and you're looking at the real thing. By the way, Mom, I got you some postcards. One of them is even 3D. It's pretty cool. Shows a season at night. A sunset and a winter view and a summer view. It's pretty cool. Equally interesting, all three of them. It's absolutely beautiful. I hope it clears up later in the week, YouTube, so we can get a better view of this. Uh, it's really a shame. But then I turn around, do a 180, and we're walking into what looks like a tornado. All right, YouTube, it looks like a tornado. And a matter of fact, I come up to this sign, what does it say? fire from above. I'm not even kidding. I'm not making this up. You can't make this up. And apparently this is a watchman story about a fire. Go ahead and pause and read that if you want. But, oh my God. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get in the shade here. Right there. Open flame. That must be 20 foot high open fire. Right there. Oh my gully goodness. Can you see that or not? I don't know. You know, I'm in a shade. It's hard for me to tell. I'm pointing in the right direction. I hope to God you're seeing this. But I'll just pan around a little bit and let you see the whole area. I was told by three forest rangers this morning alone, different sites, that this is already 3,000 acres, up from 1,300 last night, 1,400 something. And uh, it's it's impressive, Mom, and it's it's um it's a killer. If the right wind came along right now, we were in some trouble. Seriously, this whole area is dry. You can't really tell, YouTube, but everywhere you walk in the woods around here is dead, old, laying down the ground logs of dead pine trees from long ago. And they've never been cleaned up because, I don't know, I guess they just don't want them cleaned up. And they're everywhere. I'll take some videotape of it later so you see what I mean. But it's literally everywhere you can walk on the ground is dead firewood. Everywhere. Tons of it. You know, in some places, three foot high piled up on top of itself with new stuff growing through it. And it, that's just at the base of the pine tree. So that's what you're seeing. And... Um, if that was all it was burning, you wouldn't see so much smoke because that, that burns kind of clean. It's the wet stuff where all the smoke comes from, and it's that oil when it's burning from wet pine tree where you get the black from. 
and over here is really really dark black by comparison you see the white on the hilltop cap well, look how dark the sky is there but then I come up over here just up here and that's just crystal blue right there crystal blue not a cloud in the sky anywhere just this all this is fire smoke YouTube there is no cloud to that whatsoever okay that's what makes it a little scary it, everywhere else in the state it's crystal clear sky except this right where I'm camping <laughs> Wow, what luck, huh? I didn't mean for this to happen, YouTube. I really didn't, but... And I'm not happy we're having a forest fire. Don't get me wrong, but it's no. there are no houses out there to report. There are no houses there. It's, it's unaccessible by car. So there's no civilians out there getting killed, probably, because nobody can get there. What I don't get, and this is the one thing that you might want to all scratch your heads on, is that the Forest Service is saying it was started by a, a campfire in a place that's unaccessible by people. There are not even fire breaks to this area. Can anybody uh, send me a comment and explain that one to me? Because I got that from the rain, two different rangers. We started by a campfire, we're sure of that, but we don't know how on earth anybody got there. Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> like I said, right behind me, that's Crater Lake. That's the rim of the Crater Lake. So we're on the outside of the caldera looking down. That's the bottom of the outside of Crater Lake Mountain. The very bottom of the outside of the mountain. And I'm at the very top of the rim. So there it is, Mom. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I know it's not the view I promised, but that's what I got the postcards for. Hopefully this will be put out soon. And um, the, like I said, the wind will blow all the smoke out. And we'll get some nice clear sky and I can get you some good pictures. All right, once again, I apologize for the video quality, but at least there's something to talk about. And, you know, my first real world encounter with Newton's Law. And there's something to talk about. All right, YouTube, peace.